Hello, friends and colleagues, whether virtually or not, I am so excited to share with you my new book, The Dangers of Poetry, Culture, Politics, and Revolution in Iraq. Uh, this is a book about poetry and cultural history, uh, but it's also a book about communism, nationalism, uh, class struggle, the politics of gender, and their contribution to the modern history of Iraq. Um, I take the, the idea of danger quite literally in this book, so you're going to find stories of prison, of torture, of exile, uh, but you'll also find stories in here about roosters defecating on people's heads. Uh, you'll find scenes of peasants wielding their pitchforks in the air as they chant along to the verses of their favorite poems by Jawahari. Uh, you'll find allegations of drunken orgies involving Iraqi poets in Madrid and Sofia and Stockholm and Berlin. Uh, you'll find a very animated debate about whether communists would or would not use the skulls of their enemies as ashtrays for their cigarettes. Uh, but my favorite part of the book, and this undoubtedly says something about my personality and probably the moment of time we're living in, is the sheer volume of public humiliation uh, involved in public poetry in Iraq. Uh, so if you enjoy hearing or reading about, imagining, the rich and powerful being ridiculed and humiliated in public, you'll find episodes involving King Faisal, Nouria Saeed, Amino Rahani, and so many more. There's a number of British officials who were supposed to be humiliated, but they don't quite get the poetry, so it doesn't hit the same way. Um, so I encourage you to come, come read the book for the poetry, stay for the drama, uh, and I promise that you'll leave with a better understanding of how cultural politics contribute to modern Iraqi history. Thanks so much.